Butterflies are a symbol of life and change. They're constantly transforming. From an egg to a larva to a caterpillar, a chrysalis, and then the butterfly. The butterfly stage is the shortest. In life, too, it can take time to fulfill your dreams. But it's worth it then to enjoy the fulfillment of those dreams. After suffering serious back problems, Jenny Viquez was no longer able to continue her office job. It was then that she discovered her love of butterflies, which opened up a new job opportunity. Now she works 10 hours a day breeding the insects. She spends a lot of that time searching the leaves of plants for butterfly eggs and caterpillars. It allows me to live in harmony with nature and help protect the environment. Without plants and nature, there would be something missing in our lives. This work helps me to relax and gives me a sense of calm. She breeds 10 different species of butterfly, all of which are destined for export. Not long ago, Jenny Viquez and her family moved to this finca in San Ramon, right near the Costa Rican capital, San Jose. She needed more space for the large number of plants on which her butterflies depend. Each species of butterfly lays its eggs on a particular plant. These are known as host plants. Then they also need flowers with nectar or pollen. Some 400 Costa Rican families now earn their living as butterfly farmers. The country is home to several thousand species of butterfly. Costa Rica supports an enormous variety of wildlife and has one of the highest levels of biodiversity in the world. The farmers work with companies that are specialized in export. They send out butterfly chrysalises all over the world. We want to know exactly where the butterflies are going and what they'll be used for. We can't export them just for the sake of it. We need to know how they'll be treated. That's the ethical standard we have in our company and that we pass on to the other exporters. The butterflies are ambassadors of beauty, of the nature of our country. So we have to be sure that they can fulfill this function at their intended destinations. This company alone sends out 30,000 chrysalises every week. They have 70 different species, all of which are transported by air. They mainly go to botanical gardens and butterfly sanctuaries, in places like the United States, and also Europe and Russia. The company is only able to offer so many species because it works with breeders all over Costa Rica. Most of them are in areas where there are hardly any jobs, or only jobs that are damaging to the environment. Butterfly farming, on the other hand, is about protecting the environment. Ricardo Murillo, an entomologist from the University of Costa Rica, aims to promote environmentally friendly jobs in rural areas. As part of his work, he advises butterfly farmers. To breed these insects, you have to protect the forest. Here we have two hectares of forest. Without it, we wouldn't be able to breed butterflies here. So maintaining the right environment is key. Butterflies can only live in intact ecosystems. But this practice of breeding them commercially and exporting them all over the world has critics. Butterfly farming involves removing plants from the wild, for example. And when transported by plane, the insects are subject to physical jolts and changes in temperature. Murillo says that's not such a problem. Butterflies can't feel pain. The insects don't have the neural receptors to do that. They do sense mechanical impulses, but not pain as we know it. Their nervous system is different, so it's not cruel. He says it's mainly women who breed the butterflies. 
Women like these four sisters he also advises. Butterflies are their world. They've chosen to specialize in two particular species. The giant owl butterfly, which is as big as the palm of your hand, and the glass wing butterfly. Together, the sisters earn around $800 a month. That's a good income here in a rural community where many people have little school education. We wouldn't be able to find a job otherwise, not a well-paid one anyway. But here, as long as we work hard, we can earn well. And we are our own boss. About 50 years ago, Costa Rica began establishing national parks and reserves where biodiversity is specially protected. That's allowed butterfly farming to flourish here in harmony with nature and help preserve these amazing insects, which embody the diversity and vulnerability of Costa Rica's wildlife. 